Welcome to the shop. Today we're going to go through some hot rod habits that will save you time and money. Let's get to it. Alright, so I'm going to let my shop assistant do the pointing, but I am going to do the talking. So, first we are going to check, or check the fluids, oil, and transmission, and brake. Change when necessary if you can't do it yourself. Ask your friend for help and take, and take it into the shop. That was full. Alright. This one we're going to be just checking to see if there's fluid in it because I can't, I'm not starting the car right now. Yep. Yep, there's plenty of fluid in it. That thing goes on for miles. Mm -hmm. And the brake master cylinder is underneath this car. Okay. So we would have to crawl underneath. Mm hmm but this one has brakes right here, so let's check it. So you just take it off. This one's good. All right, that's good. So now let's check the spark plug and wires and cap and rotor. So if, all right, can you point to the cap and rotor? The rotor is inside here. So we're not going to take the cap off, though. And this has HEI, so the coil is right here, too. This is where you would also check your coil. So one thing to know is if you aren't getting good sparks, you are wasting fuel. So can you check the wires for me? Let's check one right here. What are you going to do? You're just going to feel. Is it burnt? Do you feel a crack? The other thing to do is to start it up and look for little sparks. If it's not arcing and it's not touching and you're getting good spark should be good to go so we're not going to check the spark plugs because we already changed them so and they're good so yeah all right now we're going to check for leaks in the oil transmission fluid fuel coolant brakes power steering and if you have power steering check there and probably figure out why it's leaking so go ahead all right so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to look at the carburetor I'm going to check the fuel line. And don't be afraid to get your hand in here because if you have a fuel leak, you can start on fire. You can see we're good. Check the fuel line while you're here. No, oh, no, we're not leaking. Check the base of the carburetor, see if anything's coming out. Nope, we're good. Now, oil, there is an oil leak. It's actually right under here. The drain plug actually drips just a little bit. Also, I found that the rear main seal drips just a little bit. So I do have some oil leaks. I do know why that they're leaking. Um, I'm not going to address the oil the oil pan uh, plug because uh, I haven't changed the oil yet. So once I do that, I'll put a new plug in there or I'll see if just the gas gets cracked. Okay, so onto the radiator. So you're going to look, feel up for leaks. All right. Nope. Don't be afraid to... Oh, it's another good thing to check if something's tight. Oh. Let me get you in there so you can see. But you can see there's no moisture along the bottom and there's no moisture down here um, transmission now the only way to do it is to get underneath the car now i did see a little bit of seepage around the pan um, and i think could be loose bolt could be that the gasket needs to be replaced good thing i have another one all right next thing we're going to check is the tires and air pressure and make sure that the they are at the right pressure for uh for pressure to tire check for uneven wear also all right so i actually filled this tire up yesterday uh, it was at 20 pounds and this needed to be at 35 so i did put it at 35 um i don't have any uneven wear on here we don't have really many miles on this um because it's literally just been off of one car onto the next and we only drove the the coupe or the roadster um, a little bit last year and we only drove the coupe in here on three flats so there's no uneven wear and this is at 35 pounds um, what you want to do if you want to look for if it's cupping if it's worn more on the outside or inside even if it's worn in the middle or on both outsides if it's worn in the middle it's too much pressure if it's worn on the outsides evenly then it's too little pressure cupping 
the slanted wear either way you're looking at suspension then it's uh, going to be a lot more expensive all right so next you're going to check your header bolts and if they come loose you could have a header that is just sitting there uh, not doing anything and it saves gaskets and exhaust in the in the car so your header bolts are right here this one has six so you find the right socket this happens to be a 3 8 let's put it on there and snug it up that one was a little bit loose i need to get in here underneath with a longer one or a wrench but i can do this one back here this is these kind of headers yep. that one was a little bit loose so add this kept going we could blow this gasket out back here or fuel will be or exhaust gases will be coming out this way and if you have a closed car and the hood is here going back inside so we don't want that you just want to be as safe as possible um, the other thing you can do the roadster has this they have clips on here so they actually clip so the bolt can't back out um, that's a safety feature that uh, worthwhile putting in there so check for the suspension and steering parts the Tyran we replaced was less than $20. Broken steering can lead up to a whole new hot rod. So. All right, so what we're gonna do, this has got a little bit steer different steering setup than, than the coupe did, but that's okay. This has got a suicide front end. So we're still looking at the same part. There's a tie rod end. And that's nice and tight. The cotter pin's nice and tight. You got your king pin here, and it's been greased. Because you can see, you got your brakes, you got your brake line, it's right up in your teeth. You might as well look at it, it's right back here. The other thing you're going to want to look at is your spring mounts. Check those bolts. This comes off, you got a bad deal. You're also going to want to check right here these bolts. The reason they call this a suicide front end, does anybody know? Well, what happens is, this lets go right here and it tips underneath you launch yourself and uh, you're probably not going to make that one so what you want to do is you want to get in here and you want to look really close is this leaking oil is the I mean is there is this greased is this nice and tight is that nice and tight is this moving over here that shouldn't be you're gonna want to take care of that also while you're here you got your brake pads I already took a look these are actually very good I don't think they're uh, hardly used at all here let's check the lights and signals looks like the headlights are on taillights are on right turn signal um, yep that one's on that one's good yep, the back one's working all right left turn signal Ooh, not the front one Oh, I got back here. Okay. Might, might so, have to fix that over there. Now we know what we got to do there. Mm -hmm. All right. That was seven hot rod habits that will save you time and money. And if I forgot anything, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget <laughs> to like and subscribe. Keep on watching. Have a great day.